yesterday I finished an upgrade to the trailer. I have 800 watts now instead of 400 watts. And check it out guys, how nice is this solar array? I don't think I can fit any more solar panels on this roof. I could add flex panels on the side, but this is plenty for my needs. But those are some famous last words, so I might add more solar panels to the side of it in the future. And this solar array in full sunshine at my latitude can produce 4,800 watt hours a day, which is the size of my battery banks. So I have zero autonomy days, but this is perfect for what I'm using it for. Now the voltage open circuit is around 180 volts. I found out the hard way that that inverter charger that I'm using likes a higher voltage. Also, some of my viewers mentioned adding an air conditioner to the front of this trailer, but this handle is in the way, so I cannot do that, unfortunately. But I will add a small air conditioner to this system very soon. And right now the working voltage of the array is 140 volts. And we're pulling two amps. So we only have 312 watts coming in, but this number will increase rapidly very soon. It's pretty early morning, so yeah, the output's pretty low. I also ordered some input and output plugs that we can add on the outside of the trailer, but they're gonna come in about a week. Another upgrade is I'm adding six gauge wire from the panel to the inverter's output. Currently I'm using 10 gauge and only a single breaker on this panel, but if I wanna use multiple breakers, I need to increase the size of the cable. I'm not gonna use all of these slots though, it would exceed the output of this inverter, so this will be plenty for my use. The next thing I need to upgrade is the size of battery. The max current rate output of this battery bank will not supply enough power for this inverter to do a max AC output. But luckily I have a large bus bar so I can add batteries whenever I please. So yeah, just a quick update, I'll have some more stuff to come. I was thinking I could drive the golf cart into this trailer and then charge it off of solar. How cool would that be? It's a bit too tall though because it's lifted, so that's unfortunate, but I might be able to take the roof off and then drive it in here. Or I'll just get another golf cart, I'm not sure. I need to find some more on OfferUp and see if I can get a deal. Anyways, just a quick update video. I will talk to you guys soon, bye.